so many avalanche airbags now available for backcountry skiers and riders, it's getting harder and harder to know exactly what's best for you. Compressed air, venturi valves, horse collars, fans, argon, TSA rules, cable pulls, the lingo alone can spin your head. Well, Winter Lab is here to set you straight. No matter what airbag pack you're looking at, the vast majority, if not all of them, use a venturi valve to help inflate the bag. When you pull the trigger, the zipper or the Velcro pops and the airbag inflates. Each bag is also repackable and it stores into its own compartment. Beyond price, features, pack volume, and aesthetics like color, the differences lie in three main areas. What's used to inflate the bag, how easy it is to refill after you've deployed it, and the shape of the airbag itself. Perhaps the most innovative airbag to date, the Black Diamond Jet Force system inflates via a battery and a rechargeable fan. The lack of compressed gas means it's the first ready-to-deploy airbag on the market that TSA doesn't have an issue with. And that is huge in the US because you can get to your destination without having to worry about refilling a canister. The upsides of the system, it's easy to recharge and can be recharged anywhere you have an outlet. Also, the fan will keep the airbag inflated for a few minutes before deflating itself, which helps create an air pocket around you in case you get fully buried. It's also meant to keep the bag inflated in case it gets punctured during a slide. One downfall though, you need to remember to turn it on when you head to the backcountry, or it won't deploy at all. If you go this route, make sure you turn on an airbag when you turn on your beacon. Next up is this pack from Scott. Scott's airbags use Elkrides technology, which inflates the bag using two smaller, non-refillable canisters. One has argon, and the other has CO2. The Elfride system uses argon because it releases faster at lower temps, while the CO2 is used as the pack's primary filler. The setup is said to be lighter than other gas systems and is easier to prep after deployment because all you need to do is install new ones. It's nice that the two canisters have different sized threads, so you can't accidentally thread the wrong canister to the wrong port. And the bag itself inflates in a pseudo horse collar shape behind you for added protection in any fall. Next up is a pack from ABS. This is the ABS Vario base unit. While ABS also sells standalone airbags and partners with tons of brands like Deuter, Osprey, and the North Face, the Vario base unit is designed to zip into ABS compatible packs like this one. ABS airbags use compressed nitrogen as well as a pressurized handle to inflate the two bags. According to ABS, the nitrogen is less affected by temperature, so it'll perform better in cooler temps. But it's also harder and more expensive to replace. The pressurized handle is used to speed up the deployment, but because it's also specialized, you need to replace both the canister and the handle each time you deploy the system. One nice thing about the ABS system is that it has two airbags to not only protect you better, but add some redundancy in case one bag gets punctured. This is the Backcountry Access Float 27. BCA uses compressed air to inflate the bag, and the gas cylinder is relatively easy to refill since most dive shops, paintball shops, and even more and more ski shops can do it for you. If you fly with it in the US, just make sure you have an empty canister and can refill it at your destination. And BCA has some of the least expensive airbags on the market, so it won't entirely break the bank, and that's great for any skier. Last up is this pack from Mammut. Mammut makes a couple different styles of airbags. This one is the Ride Protection Airbag with Snow Pulse's Protection Airbag System. Like the BCA pack, it uses compressed air to inflate it, so the same pros and cons of compressed air apply here too. But the shape of the airbag is different on this pack. The airbag itself tucks into the back of the pack, but also the shoulder straps. When inflated, it wraps around your head and down over your shoulders like a horse collar to provide more protection and help mitigate trauma. All Avalanche airbags will have various compartments for AVI tools and gear. And as you can see, there are a lot of great options out there. But even if you get an airbag, don't think you can head into the backcountry without AVI tools and backcountry skills. Because even the best airbag is no replacement for backcountry know-how. Be safe.